What's going on everybody? Episode four of the Soft Tissue Practice Revolution. My name is Dr. Matt Maggio and my mission is to help practitioners that specialize in soft tissue treatments how to significantly increase their skill set, their business, scale their practice, make more money, all while being ethical and not ripping off patients. So fourth episode in, Getting better at that intro, still need to practice. But on today's episode, episode four, I got it back there on the whiteboard, is what my own injuries taught me. My handwriting's awful. I am a classic doctor that has really shitty handwriting. Um, on the first couple episodes, you know, we went through my origin story, my dad's death, and why I don't do any adjustments. But today, what I want to talk about was my own injuries. Let me get a little sip of coffee, though, because it's, you know, good coffee, and I want to get rolling. So... What my own injuries taught me about my profession, the musculoskeletal world, and everything like that. So to go back, I talked about this on an earlier podcast, but I played football in college, and I did a lot of damage to my body, specifically to my neck and my low back. I have a lot of degeneration in my neck and my low back, Um, herniations, degeneration. I remember when I got my first MRI of my neck, it was back in, when was it? It was back in 2014 or 2015, and the radiologist called me and asked if I had ever been in any car accidents because I had a lot of trauma. Now, I've never been in a car accident, but I did bash my head into another human repeatedly for many years. And I stayed pretty relatively healthy in my neck um, and shoulders all through college. I never really noticed anything. I had stingers and things like that. But nothing crazy that I would know. You know, my low back was really bad. I blew that out and I didn't really think anything of that. Over the years, my back hasn't been horrible, but my neck has gotten progressively worse. It got so bad for me back in 2017. It was so bad that I didn't want to practice anymore. And I was just running, you know, balls to the wall all the time. And I wasn't recovering and I would just wake up in pain, I'd work through pain, I'd go home and be in pain, and I would just go on that never-ending loop, and I really started learning more and more about my injuries, and I did what everyone does. I played the victim role. I said, you know, woe is me, like, this sucks, this is not fair, I can't believe this happened to me, and, you know, I've even had some times where I had some suicidal thoughts. I don't talk about that a lot, and I think I'm going to cover that in a later podcast, but the pain was so bad, you know, With my neck, I would probably say that I live every day in like a 4 to 6 out of 10, but I've been in a 10 out of 10 a lot of times where I've had to miss over a week of work because things were just fucked up and they weren't good. So where am I going with all this? It's my mindset. You know, like, yes, my neck hurts, and even when I'm sitting here right now, it hurts, but... It's not as bad as it used to be, and it got a hell of a lot better because I invested in actually getting treatment and things like that. I actually would go get monthly treatment from a doctor that I learned under. I would fly up to Boston to get treated by him, and he charged me 400 bucks an hour, but you know what? It was worth every damn penny because I learned a lot. I also learned how to manage my injury, how to treat it and get a different perspective. You know, a lot of times... When we're doctors and we're injured, we think we fucking know everything. We're like, oh, I, I know what's wrong and it's this. And you you try to dictate treatment to the person that you're working with. A lot of times we work trades with other people in our profession. We're like, oh, well, why don't you do this and this and this? Like, I'm feeling tension here. Why don't you work with Vader and do some trap work and do this, 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 this. And we don't really know what's going on. And we kind of are sloppy with our diagnosis components. So what I did was I gave up all control and allowed an expert to fully assess me treat me and tell me what I needed to do. And I went in there with a very open mind because I wanted to learn from my injury as well. And it was really cool. I really picked up a lot of things. I I learned how to manage an injury, not just from a patient standpoint, but from a doctor standpoint, how to communicate effectively about what's going on, proper load management, and really just giving a better prognosis of what's going on. And I'm really glad for that. You know, an injury can be something horrible or it can be a blessing in disguise. And for me, it ended up being a blessing because now I have empathy and I can relate to patients. Like I know what it's like when shit hurts so bad that you can't focus and you feel like your fucking head is going to explode. And that gave me a really good insight to what patients are going through and how 
their injury is affecting them. You know, a lot of times we forget about the emotional component of being injured. We think patients just come in because they're in pain. We have to remember why they're there. And a lot of times it's an emotional component to the problem because it's keeping them from doing something. Like they can't play with their kids or they can't do the activities they love. It's affecting their job. It's affecting their quality of life. They can't enjoy the things they want. And we forget about that. We think it's mostly just about getting out of pain. And it's not. There's so much more to that. And I've learned that in my psychological journey. Another thing that I learned is if you're injured, one thing that I think should happen is you should have to go to someone that is exactly like you and does what you do and experience that. Because if you're injured and you cringe and you're like, fuck, I don't want to go to anyone that does what I do because this shit doesn't work. How in the fuck do you think that's coming across to your patients? If you don't believe in what you're doing, you don't believe in your own shit that you're selling, like, why would you do that to other people? But this happens so many times in the musculoskeletal world. They're like, ah, I know my shit doesn't really work and I don't want to get treated by me, but you should have to when you're treated and have a real conversation with yourself and be like, you know what? My shit doesn't work. I should get better and you should learn to be better. There's so many doctors out there that are just lazy. They don't want to be better. They're like, well, I'm just kind of happy doing snap, crack, pop, get paid by the insurance and whatever. People come in once a month, but their patients aren't getting better. Like, you have a duty and obligation to help people and get them feeling better and get them better long term. But no one's doing that because they're fucking lazy. It's hard to learn all this shit. But you know what? You're adding value to people's lives. You're having purpose. So what my injury just taught me was to have better perspective. Understand why injuries are happening what to do about them and manage them correctly. It is a dance as a doctor. We think it's like, hey, how do you feel? Let's do some stuff. Oh, I feel better. We'll see you in a couple weeks. It's like there's so many more components to that. There's load components. There's management components. There's psychological components. There's nutritional components. There's inflammation components. But we're so fucking blind as doctors. We're like, put our blinders on. It's like, I do this one thing and that's all I do. Anything outside of there, I'm just going to pretend like that doesn't happen. And how do you think that comes across to your patients? So what I wanted to get across in this video was more just kind of big picture stuff. Is like most of us that are in this field, you know, especially musculoskeletal, like soft tissue type of practitioners, we were athletes before. You know, we were aggressive. We beat the shit out of our bodies and we went hard and we're beat up. We have a physical job and we don't take good care of ourselves. We don't practice what we preach. And if you don't believe in what you're doing yourself to selling to patients and you're trying to give that to everyone else out there, like you're a fraud and you're a phony. And people will eventually figure that out. People are very intuitive nowadays. They can sense when someone's full of shit. You know, there's people that will go for a little while, but long term, people are going to figure it out. And if you won't go to someone like you to fix your own problem and you're doing that, like what the fuck are you even doing? Why even bother? Like, what is it about? Like, get out there, serve purpose, help people learn more. So I have a little ranty on this one, but really my own injuries just gave me so much perspective and knowledge and shifted my focus of how to do that, how to manage and learn from the problems that you have. So that's it for the episode today. Like I said, going forward, these episodes aren't going to be as long as my first couple. They're going to be nine or 10 minutes. But if you like what I'm saying it resonates, it kicks you in the knees, kicks you in the balls and says, you know what, that guy is saying something that's right. I need to get my head out of my ass. I need to be better. I need to deliver better quality care. I need to run a business better. I need to do that. I'm here to help. As I said before, my main goal is to get doctors trained up the best that I can so they can show up better for their practice, for their patients, for their family and their community so we can put an end to this fucking opioid epidemic and really have good conservative care doctors. And if you like what you see, click the link, come through, join our Facebook page, and I'm gonna see if you're even um, past the criteria to do that. You know, for that criteria, you do have to have an active license in some type of musculoskeletal care, be it physical therapy, chiropractic, or massage, and you have to be willing to be coachable and learn. We're not for everybody. I know I'm not for everybody. I can ruffle some feathers, but I'm gonna give it to you honest and give it to you straight. I'm not gonna blow smoke up your ass. So that's episode four. Thanks for watching. If you do like it, comment, share. If you don't like it, send me a message as well. I'll tell you to go fuck yourself. So thanks again for watching and have a great day. And where is the end?